All right, welcome. Um, so I just went outside and took a couple of photos, and I just wanted to show you all some of the um, things going on when you're taking a Apple Pro Raw photo. So here I am in Lightroom. I'm just about to import them. We're just going to do one to one, nothing special, import, right? And we'll just let it load. So let's click on this image, okay? You, you probably saw in that little clip that I selected different areas that it could expose. So I would select the sky, I would select the foreground, and it appears that, yeah, it's it's honoring those changes, right? Okay, cool. Um, let's go to develop, okay? And what you'll see is a profile here. You'll see it says Apple Pro Raw, and that there's a slider. That means it's an effect. What you see off the iPhone has already been modified with this profile. Um, that's unlike a DSLR image where you import it and you get Adobe Color. So when I set this Pro Raw image to Adobe Color, this is what the real raw image actually is <laughs> without any fancy Apple effects going on. So let's go ahead and apply that to the rest of the images, okay? Adobe Color. Will this work actually? I may have to do it one by one. Or could I do it in library? I'm not sure. I never changed the profile of multiple ones at the same time. Yeah, we'll just do it one by one. So that's weird. All right. We'll change all these to Adobe Color and see what happens. All right, last one. All right, so we switched them all to Adobe Color. No Apple Pro Raw settings going on here. This is raw image as it comes out of the iPhone without any post-processing, basically. And um, remember, I selected those different areas of the image when I was shooting to expose differently. So let's see how it handles that. Okay. Dippy color. Yeah, so it still kind of honors those uh, settings. All right. All right. So what this tells me, <laughs> um, shooting an Apple Pro Roll, you should probably pay attention to where you tap on that screen when you're exposing. Because um, yeah, that first one, I don't believe I tapped anywhere on the screen when I took I think I just lifted it up and shot the image. I could be wrong. I gotta look at my own damn footage. Um but yeah, so it it doesn't matter if Yeah, you can you can just tap on the screen, um, expose, and um yeah, the actual raw image itself will you know reflect that. And that's why I was a, I, I was afraid that it wouldn't. I was afraid that all of these images would just look like this, and that Apple was doing some really intense tone mapping for you no, know, like all the images, and like there was no way to recover those midtones if you had um, if you had just picked up your phone and shot it, even if you selected um, a different place in the image to expose it. So, so this is good. This is good. That means that you can bring it back. What's not good is that. 90% of people are never going to go through this and, you know, see that Apple was, you know, making these, these edits, that the raw image that you're getting is not actually a raw image. It's already been post-processed by Apple with that profile. Yeah, so um, just wanted to kind of show this and give you all, like, my natural feedback. Um, yeah, so... I mean, this, this is good. It means, yeah, you can, it means people should pay more attention to, you know, what they're exposing with and not just pick up the phone and shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> um, it's, it's good to know that you can lift the phone up, expose on an area, remove that Apple Pro Raw effect and still have a workable image. You just got to keep it in mind that you, yeah, you should probably tap that area on the screen you want to expose and, um, and go from there. But anyway, I just wanted to go through this. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, bye.